Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Joey Talks the real shit. Uh, the bed is made, kind of. The door's closed. It's the 31st of December, so we're here for the, the long haul. This is the real stuff. I wanted to talk about my year in review, and basically about how I feel like this year's gone, and things like that. This will be a public video, I don't mind. I, I always like to air my heart and soul a little bit over the course of the year. I'm a pretty open person anyway, so it doesn't bother me if people find out. Uh, at the start of the year, we'll go back to January of last year, or uh, December of last year, I decided I wanted to make a YouTube video every day for a year. And that was something I'd never done before and wasn't very confident in doing, to be honest, because I th always felt myself as someone who was alright at YouTube but never really going to make anything of myself for, on it. I don't know that much has changed in that regard really, but I set myself a goal, which is something I also don't do, and decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a video every day. And up until today, I've done that. I've made a video every day, and I was late some days. Uh, complete transparency, I uploaded two videos on other days because I had missed one. But I wanted to have 365 videos over the year. And give myself a little bit of lenience because it was new to me and I wasn't very uh, happy with it. Uh, sometimes very uncomfortable, sometimes didn't want to do it at all and was kind of forcing myself through it, which is what you have to do sometimes. Uh, but I feel like it went okay. I feel like it went alright. And also that all in all, I would say that I've done a fairly good job of making the YouTube videos this year and the biggest thanks I can give is that people actually want to watch them and will leave comments and like them and say things because that somewhat kind of self selfish push forward of people going you know what this is good stuff and this is something we want to see more of and I'm liking you putting yourself out there it means a lot to me I have to thank Tio you know who you are friend from Mexico drink to you because you really do help me out a lot when you leave comments on my videos, even if I don't express it very much. Having someone who is consistently there, messaging you and letting you know that they are watching and they are absorbing the information and they are liking it is really, really helpful and I do appreciate it. So, thank you. Uh, as for the rest of the year and what else has been going on in my life, it hasn't been all good. Um, I've fought with depression for a long time. I don't mind admitting it. It's something that I don't necessarily like about myself. But I've kept going. The only way you truly give up is when you don't keep pulling yourself back up again after you fall down. Uh, and I've fallen down many times. But I keep standing back up again because I don't want to completely quit. Not yet. I have gone through quite a lot through this year. Mostly, my my world is in this these four walls, so most of the stuff I do is online. But at the same time, I also kind of made myself do things that I wasn't necessarily happy with before, and do things I wasn't necessarily comfortable with, but I did them anyway. Um, it might not seem like a lot to some people, but I worked in July. I went, I actually got a job, a real job, a proper job, and although it didn't last very long. I surprised myself with the fact that I could actually go and do it. The reason why it didn't last long though, for those of you who are curious, is because my heart wasn't in it. Uh, you can tell yourself that you can do something and believe it, but if your heart's not really in it, it's only a matter of time before you become disenfranchised with the whole thing. Speaking of becoming disenfranchised, uh, Twitch. Not necessarily a good or bad thing for me this year. I went back into it and also stopped again. I do that. I go from YouTube to Twitch to YouTube to Twitch to YouTube to Twitch. This year there's different because I've made myself stick to YouTube consistently and not just quit when things got hard and my brain said, oh you're not gonna do anything with your life, you're shit. Uh, next year, 2018, I'm gonna try very hard to actually stream much more often. I've said every day, I don't know that it actually will be every day, but I will try and do a stream every day. It won't be at a time that suits everyone. In fact, most days I probably won't get anyone watching at all. But again, I want to kind of put myself on that level of I have to do this. I am going to do this and 
push myself through it even when times get hard to build up some resilience and to build up some self-esteem and things like that because they are things that I lack in my life. Um, as for everyone else on the internet that I've met this year, there have been some great people and I'd like to name specifically a few because they have made a massive difference in my life and even if sometimes we don't get along very well or sometimes I feel like I don't fit in, which is more accurate. I feel like I'm not a part of the group because I don't mesh in very well with their ideals and what they like to talk about. They have made a very positive influence on my life. So I'd like to say thank you, first of all, to Astro, uh, otherwise known as Fogmother. She is a very articulate person, someone who's very well read, which I'm not. Someone who is very personable, I think, and very fun to hang around with and just very jovial and kind of funny and just nice uh, just a, just a person that you meet who is very nice and you just want to you just want to be around you just kind of I enjoy her company so thank you and I do appreciate that I hope in some way I am also a positive influence on you English is hard a positive influence on your life uh, second of all we have Alex uh, I haven't known him that well and we aren't like super close or anything, but he is also a very cool guy and is very intelligent. Uh, things that I wish I could be more of. And generally just, again, like a nice guy. Likes to have fun, isn't too serious about everything all the time, which is something that I could learn <laughs> to be better at. And is just nice and a good guy. So thank you to you. Uh, I, can't, I can't go through this without mentioning May. Uh, she is someone who has really changed some things in my life and put things into perspective for me and realized that there are different ways, not necessarily better or worse, but there are different ways of handling certain situations and that running away isn't always the right answer and blaming yourself for everything also isn't. And she is someone who I adore, to be frank, and will always be very close to, I think. Uh, so thanks to you as well and finally I guess we should stick to the old classics we have we have Chris I'm gonna put my we have Chris we have Hannah Hanna uh, name is not spelt like Hannah uh, we have Tio like I've said we have Thomas and all those people who are consistently there and are just sort of I take for granted almost in some ways because I don't necessarily I'm not the sort of super personable asking how everyone is every day kind of let's get together kind of person that's not how I do things but I do appreciate them and I do appreciate them being there for me and considering me their friends uh, so yeah I'd like to thank you guys for that uh, you might notice I'm not I'm not a very emotional person I, I speak from my heart a lot and tell you what I'm thinking but I'm not gonna be the, like if someone donates 10 grand to me I'm not gonna cry it's not the kind of person I am I'm not super emotional in that regard I get emotional when things go wrong, not when things go right. But this is not supposed to be a depressing thing. This is supposed to be me just being honest with how I feel about this year. It was okay. I didn't have a hugely awful year like some people have. I haven't had a hugely like this is the worst year I can remember. Uh, not a lot can be worse than wanting to die. And I've not been at that level this year. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, as for next year, who knows? I hope that I can make things happen and keep putting in the work and hopefully some people will start to notice that I'm consistently doing this stuff and people might like to listen to what I have to say or watch what I put out or watch my streams or just talk to me or hang out. Who knows? I can't possibly know. But I certainly feel a lot more positive than I've felt in a long time just in terms of having my mental state open to the possibility of good things happening. But I don't want to keep you guys for much longer. It's nearly 10 minutes of me just talking. Uh, I wish a happy new year to all of you guys. And I will see you tomorrow, probably, for another video. And a stream, possibly. We'll see. New Year's Day stream might be a bit hard to swing my parents to let me do that. But see you guys then. Thanks for watching, everyone.